The first time he held my hand, I was thinking about the way my stomach was churning. Not because I was nervous or anything, but because I had just eaten a whole plate of Hooters Parmesan garlic wings at the side of their infamous Tex-Mex nachos, and oh my god, that was a good night. Well, anyways, okay. Let me restart this. <clears throat> the first time he held my hand, it was Halloween of 2017. I guess the stars were shining bright, twinkle twinkling with all their might, something, something, something light, and wow. Being a poet's hard and overrated. Especially when the person you love is kind of hard to talk about. Because the only language you speak does not do even any ounce of justice, does not have enough words to describe out loud just how beautiful that person really is. So forgive me if you can't picture the face of the man I fell in love with on October 31st, 2017. So forgive me if you can't imagine what it's like falling in love with a person you've known since you were three. So forgive me if splashes of our history are tainting the very walls of this room with slivers of who we were and who I hope we're going to be. So forgive me if I'm blabbering nonsense because there's nothing easy when it comes to putting an entire universe's emotions into one jumbled up story. So do forgive me. Because I'm looking into this audience, yet all I see is a hazy light in the distance. A hazy light that looks a lot like those stars from that night. Reminding me that there are much more meaningful things in this world than just garlic wings and angsty poetry. As if my whole world wasn't already enraptured by the love he's given me, whispering soft giggles under the safety of what they call a frightful day, and exchanging sweet candy to hear even a fragment of flirty gestures I wouldn't even want all of you to see. Because of everything good I've been given in this life, he is the best thing that's ever happened to me. And that's being pretty lenient, considering things like garlic parmesan wings from Hooters exist. But God, let me be selfish just once in my life. Allow me to prove that I can make even the scariest day of the year Valentine's Day 2.0. Allow me to prove that a high school romance stretches longer than the gummy worms I found at the bottom of my bag that night. Allow me to prove that love is anything but a costume deserving the most sincerity and commitment than any emotion this world has to offer. Too many people wear their masks on their heart and call it armor. Acting as if their past lovers are responsible for their reckless decisions, thinking that love changes as quickly as the seasons, but they only think that because they have yet to meet the person that makes them want to take off that mask. Makes them want to live each day like it's the very last they'll ever have. Makes them want to do things they never usually do, like not ordering one plate of garlic parmesan wings, but instead two. Two plates of garlic parmesan wings. So that was the first out of many days that I'd fall in love just like the old cheesy poets used to say. I guess there's no proper way to restart the story. And it'll just keep going back to the glory of chicken wings and holding hands, under the stars brighter than the wedding bands I hope will one day adorn us. Maybe I'll eventually be able to do his beauty justice, when our love has flourished far beyond what these four walls can offer. Years after the first time he held my hand. <laughs>